Good morning, boys and girls. Now, those of you who don't come to um, daily mass, uh, you may not realize that's the way I start my homilies at daily mass with the kids. And then I say, good morning, adults. Good job. And then I go around with my hand mic and ask them a whole bunch of questions. So boys and girls, you can relax today. You notice I'm not wandering around with my hand mic trying to be Art Linkletter. Now that's a reference for us old people. We know who Art Linkletter was, okay? It's good. So I'm just going to tell you a few things and your family and the rest of us that have to do with Holy Communion. Girls and boys, you've been waiting for today for a long time, haven't you? And I am sure you were thrilled. Today's an important and special day for you, and that is why we are all here for you. And by the way, I've never seen you all looking as well as you do this morning. You look like princesses and princes. You have put on your best clothes to meet Jesus in Holy Communion. But more important than the clothes you wear is that you've prepared your hearts to meet Jesus. That is why you made your first confession. You have been praying to Jesus every day because you want to make sure your heart is ready for Jesus. When you receive Jesus in Holy Communion, you will tell Him you love Him and you will thank Him for coming to you. After Mass, everyone will want to meet you and be photographed with you. And I'm sure you'll have lots of nice things to eat. Jesus also wants you to have fun. He wants you to enjoy yourselves. <clears throat> Just remember that it's all because Jesus has come to you. You will get gifts and envelopes with money inside. But the most important gift today is Jesus coming to you in Holy Communion. <laughs> Jesus coming to you is the best gift you will receive today and always. Jesus is more important than all the money, your presence, or nice food. Continue to pray to Jesus and Mary every day because they love you so much. <clears throat> Parents, this is a great day for you also. Today your children are fully nourished with you around the table of the Lord for the first time. Today your family is united in Jesus, the only one who nourishes us fully. When you had your children baptized, you were reminded you were their first teachers of their faith. They learned their faith from you before anyone else as you taught them to make the sign of the cross and to say their prayers. During these early years, you have helped them so much to know about God. For many years to come, what you say and do will influence their faith and their friendship with Jesus. No matter what the teacher, who is excellent, Rachel in this case, or parish does, unless the children sense their parents' faith, they will not absorb the faith. The faith you hand on will be their strength throughout life. You hand on faith. You have no choice about that. The choice you have is to hand it on either badly or well. <coughs> Your family needs faith in God. It is something they need, and they need it not only when in a crisis. Teachers and priests cannot plant faith in the heart of your children if you do not. Jesus said, what does it profit to gain the whole world but to lose your soul? Today is a very happy day for everyone else here because relations, friends, teachers, and people of the parish have all watched these children grow and help them on their friendship with God. 
I know you are praying for them today and will continue to pray for them. Children, I still remember my first Holy Communion Day. And I hope you don't forget today either. Your first Holy Communion Day. Jesus wants you and your families to be happy today. Jesus wants to come into your heart because He loves you. Boys and girls, always remember this. Jesus loves you more than anyone. Oh.